Hello, I'm PC Izzy Sutty. Sergeant Amy Gledhill. Whoa. Yeah, Sergeant. Okay. Have a bit of respect. No. <laughs> We've got some questions based on real tests you have to take to become a police officer. And we're going to find out if we'd cut it in the West Yorkshire Police. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? So ready. On November the 1st, Tilly Mm -hmm. fell to turn up for a lecture at uni. The police are treating her disappearance as suspicious. The only facts we know are she went to a classmate's Halloween party the night before dressed as an alien. Interesting choice, Tilly. I wonder if it was a homemade outfit. Oh, I'd like to see it, actually. I'm thinking egg boxes painted green. Oh, we're distracted already. (laughs) Phone goes straight to voicemail and her WhatsApp messages are only showing one tick. Okay. Tilly was due to give a group presentation on famous serial killers. Oh. And her housemate Sarah was seen acting suspiciously. Interesting. I think if anyone who was interested in serial killers or absorbing any information like podcasts or uh, documentaries. If that was a crime, I think we'd all be in prison. Yes. I'd be very much in prison. You've got three other facts, and I'm about to ask you some statements and say, are they true, false, or impossible to say? Okay, I'm ready. Number one, Tilly's phone may be out of battery. I think this is a red herring because I am notoriously bad at getting back to people's messages. My WhatsApp is constantly one tick and my phone will go to voicemail, but I'm very much sat in bed eating crisps, looking at my phone, wondering who's ringing. It's It's impossible impossible to to tell. Sarah could have been at the Halloween party. Sarah is the housemate who's been seen acting suspiciously. But we don't have any more information, do we? And acting suspiciously suspiciously in what way? Yeah, and it's Halloween. Maybe she's in character. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's doing freaky little things to, to spook the housemates. So maybe Sarah's cool. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> maybe she's a laugh. Maybe Sarah's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get Sarah's number? Last statement. Yeah. There are grounds to arrest her classmates for murder. Oof. That's a big jump. But, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that because the other ones are a bit, you don't know? Yeah, I don't know if I'd be great in the police because I'd be like, oh, just arrest him and then we'll just work it out in court. <laughs> if, if it'll innocent, be all right. It'll, it'll yeah. work itself out. <laughs> right, I'm ready for I've my got a question. question. Okay. CCTV footage has captured the moment Robin Banks. Great name. Do you get it? Yeah. I mean, you if you christened it? Robin Banks, of course, <laughs> there's a high chance you're going to become a criminal, I guess. Nominative determinism. Or is it a red herring? Oh. Do the parents do that so that they won't end up robbing banks? Because it would be such, so yeah. obvious. He can't be. Look at his name. He wouldn't have done that. <laughs> CCTV footage has captured the moment Robin Banks was bundled into a van which sped away at high speed through a red light. The only facts we know are these. The van is large enough to help someone move house. The van was spotted in the Harrogate area, close to where a local bank was broken into the next day. The next day. The very next day. Not that day. The very next day. The van has a pair of fluffy dice hanging in the window. Hmm. When I was a student, I didn't really have many possessions. The fluffy dice might have been my only possession. (laughs) The fact that they're hanging in the window means the van could actually be really small and tiny. that's the thing they're helping me move. So I think that's that's unclear. Bundled into a van. By yeah. whom? How? And the bank was robbed the next day. The next day. My mind yeah. is open. <laughs> and that's the first quality a police officer needs to have. You're doing great. An open mind. You're doing great. True, false or impossible to say. Okay. Statement one. The van was driving dangerously yes went through a red light i mean i'm thinking like Catherine here this is incredible absolutely no hesitation it went through a red light send them to prison just for that gone they've Get gone them off the streets statement two the van is big enough to be used in a getaway okay if it's big enough to be <laughs> i mean, i think i will do it as Catherine. Yes, actually please. yes please okay so if it's big enough to be used as in, in a getaway then i mean yeah, it's big enough to help someone move house. So 
I mean, why am I even here? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thank you. Goosebumps. Um, yeah, no, definitely. If it's big enough to help someone move house, I mean, a getaway, that might only be one person. Yeah. Uh, and the money. And the money. What if it's too definitely. big and clunky? Well, I'm there in the back with a wardrobe. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want this dresser? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got in the wrong van. Statement three, PZ Izzy. Robin is responsible for the bank robbery. No. I'm saying impossible to say in the same sense that I can't say that yeah. it's impossible to say that you didn't do it, but... Yeah. He's bundled into a van the day before. Am I a suspect all of a sudden? Yes. Well, I didn't see that. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Amy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, take me, take me in for questioning. You're absolutely right. No, we don't know. We don't know if Robin's done it. What, what I think if anything, Robin's an innocent party. He's been bundled He's been into bundled the bundled in. He's an innocent party. And it was robbed the next day. No. It's not Robin. No. 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 Robin's a good boy. Join us in unpicking the final series of Happy Valley. Listen to Obsessed with Happy Valley on BBC Sounds.